But we turn now to new developments in a lawsuit related to the Oxford school shooting rampage. A judge has ruled that an armed security guard will be added to a civil suit filed by Oxford parents. The guard was inside Oxford High last November 30th when four students were killed and seven others were injured, including a teacher. The attorney for the school said in court that Kimberly Potts is a retired Oakland County deputy sheriff. And he says that she acted alone in the search for the shooter after she found out it wasn't a drill. The new developments came after parents and their attorneys watched school surveillance video in the prosecutor's office. They've criticized the security guard for not going into a bathroom where the shooter was with two other students, killing student Justin Schilling. All by yourself, did not wait, did not hesitate. Not We've all seen Uvalde and how people responded there. Yeah. So this 54-year-old female by herself, without any body armor, without any shields, without any backup, without anything, drew her gun. Where's the shooter? He went down there, and she went in pursuit of the shooter to confront him. Moments after she left the bathroom, uh, uh, Crumley shot and killed Justin Schilling in front of Keegan Gregory, who then ran out the bathroom, escaping, for, luckily, with his life, thinking that he was going to get shot in the back the entire time. Well, 16-year-old Ethan Crumley is charged in that shooting. Attorneys for the parents are asking the judge to hold school leaders in contempt for not providing surveillance video in the civil lawsuit. Now, later today here on 7 Action News, our Jim Kurtzner will have more with the school attorney who says he watched a copy of the school video. Uh, and, of course, Jim's going to have that for you coming up.